Hey, so do you experience this because of social anxiety? You're talking to somebody and it's like you can't process the words. The words aren't getting in, okay? So if that's something you experience, stick around. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly why that's happening, what's going on underneath the surface, and then how to overcome this issue and start processing words quickly and efficiently so you can connect with other people. Okay, so let's go. All right, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ruben and I help individuals get relief from their social anxiety attacks. So the blank mind, the racing heart, the feeling like you can't breathe, that embarrassing shaky voice, that's what this channel is all about, okay? So before I get into this video, I just wanna give you the opportunity to take your free masterclass, okay? So make sure you stay until the end and I'll give you information on how to access that. But during that masterclass, I'll walk you through the process for eliminating and getting relief from these social anxiety attacks so you can connect with people naturally and effortlessly, okay? And if you wanna stay in touch, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell notification beside that so you'll be notified as soon as I release a video and then you can also follow me on Instagram. Okay, so going back to this problem where the words just aren't getting in. They're, you're not processing them, they're, they're kind of flying over your head and therefore you can't connect with the other person. It's like you're in the conversation but you can't really be in the conversation because you're, you're not functional, okay? This problem stifled me for years, okay? And it can make you feel particularly defective and broken because think about it, it's like you don't have the machinery, the internal machinery to connect with another person and that's simply not the case, okay? What's happening when you feel like you can't process words and, you, and you're, the words aren't getting in, okay? What's happening is your stress response is going off, the human stress response, the fight, flight, freeze system, okay? And so there's varying degrees, there's levels to which this system goes off, okay? And most people, they underestimate how active this fight, flight, freeze system is on during their day. It could be little things, so if you get nervous, for example, if you just start procrastinating, let's say you're working on a project, right? If you just start procrastinating and you can't focus and you can't think, right? You're, you're being perfectionistic and you're worried, how is it going to turn out? Is it going to be scrutinized? Am I gonna get good feedback? All of these types of thoughts, okay? That fight, flight, free system is driving that entire Thing. Okay, so it's just not going off to the degree where you're having heart palpitations and you feel like you're suffocating. Okay, that's just another level to the system. Okay, and I go into that in another video. I talk about all of those physical symptoms that manifest when this fight, flight, free system is going off. Okay, so I'm gonna link that up at the end of the video and you can check that out next. Okay, so very important you develop the self awareness to know when you are in fight or flight. Because you might be saying to yourself, oh my God, I've heard that, this survival mechanism, and I heard it a million times, blah, 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 okay? But if you truly had the self-awareness to know when that system's going off, you wouldn't be watching this video. Okay, and so an important thing to understand is what noise does to your, your nervous system, okay? If somebody says your name and it's off in a distance, they scream your name, you hear this noise, or any kind of loud noise, distracting noise, what do you do? Your reflex, automatic reflex, is to look away and look in that direction, okay? But from an evolutionary perspective, think if you're a caveman and you're living in the wild and you got all of these dangerous creatures, you're face to face, with a saber-toothed tiger, for example, or a bear. Okay, I want you to envision the state that you go into in that life-threatening situation, okay? If somebody calls your name and you look away, you got yourself killed, okay? That animal, that creature, it's gonna attack you, okay? And if in the past, all of, I know if you're watching this video and, you, and you, you're dealing with the social anxiety, you're part of our community, a lot of you have been dealt with bullying. You've dealt with violence as a man coming up in this world, physical altercations, okay? If somebody was in your face, okay, and somebody said your name and you looked away 
And so that opens you up, boom, for somebody to attack you, okay? And I know you're an adult now, you're trying to get away from that whole scene, but when you were young, when you were a child or a teenager, that was a realistic danger, danger for you. Okay, so you don't even have to think about super abstract things like being a caveman and things like that. It's a very realistic fear, okay? The hearing, what it does, if it's still on, it diverts your attention. Okay, away from what's in front of you. Okay, and so I got this funny story that's gonna really tie everything together for you. Um, it's gonna make a lot of sense. So this is when, I was about 26 years old, right? It's like 2009, 2009. Back then, I was still partying really hard. You know, I was, I was drunk and at the bars, at the clubs every single weekend. You know, super awkward, but who cares when you're, when you're drunk and you're just carrying on, right? And so we come out of this, this one club, we come out of this one club and there's a, there's a homeless guy outside of the club asking for change. And he's like, hey, excuse me, can I have some, can I have some change? And there's this woman that, that's standing there and she goes, starts giving him like mad attitude. She's like, well, I'm not giving you any change. He's like, why don't you work like the rest of us have to work, okay? And my, my, my friend, he starts sticking up for the homeless guy and he says, hey, just Hey, chill, like leave the guy alone. You know, he's just, he's just out here trying to get some change, out here trying to survive, leave the guy alone. And she goes, she goes again, she starts getting all heated. No, I won't leave him alone, okay? I have to work for my money. Why doesn't he have to work for his? And she starts just getting riled up, okay? And when she, she starts getting riled up, so does my buddy. And he gets really riled up, and, and he calls her, he calls her this really derogatory name, right? I'm gonna let you use your imagination on that one. There's the, there's the B word, there's the C word, there's the W word, okay? So calls her one of those names and she goes up to him and she says, what did you say to me? And she smacks him right across the face, okay? Smacks him across the face. I'm standing across the street looking, looking this way. So she smacks his face in the direction that I am over there. And I scream, hey, what are you doing to my friend, okay? And he's looking down and then he looks up at me because I screamed at him. I was like, what are you doing, okay? And while he was doing that, because he's so drunk, okay? It takes away all your inhibitions being that hammered, right? He's so drunk, his fight or flight's not on. So when I yell at him, he hears it and it distracts him. He looks at me and then what does she do is she comes back the other way and swings at him this way and he knocks his face over this way. And so I start screaming and I start running over there like, dude, defend yourself, okay? And so what happens is she connects twice, boom, boom, and then she starts going to town. She starts swinging, a guy jumps in, picks her up and turns her away. I grab my friend and I take him away, okay? Had he been in fight or flight, okay? Here's the lesson, Here, here's the moral of the story. Had he been in fight or flight, okay? His hearing would have shut down, okay? So when I, when I yelled at him, it would have been this really faint echo. He probably wouldn't even turn his head. Like who knows, he would have been so fixated, hearing shut down, that when she swung at him, I don't know, maybe he would have slipped it. I used to box, right? Maybe he would have slipped it. Maybe he would have done one of those matrix things. I don't know, but he would have avoided that physical altercation and he would have avoided getting hit like that. Okay, so it's not just in evolutionary terms and just caveman days. This is, this is real life stuff, okay? And in particular, this thing, this hearing shut down, I, I searched out the answers to, for like I searched out doctors, I was trying to convince doctors and therapists that I had ADD. I was seeking out speech pathologists. I was trying to go to improv classes on the weekends to figure out this hearing problem because it particularly made me feel so broken and defective. I used to say it felt like I was like a car with no engine. Like I just don't have the machinery to connect with people. That's just how I felt inside. Okay, but that's, that's truly not the case. It's your survival mechanism. It's miscalibrated. Okay, when you're in a social setting and there's no real threat, but it's still going off to a high degree, it's miscalibrated, okay? In my friend's example, when he actually needed it and it wasn't going off, it's not that it was miscalibrated, but the alcohol shut that thing down when it should have been on, 
So it's, it, it is miscalibrated. Okay, and so to calibrate it and make sure it's going off to the degree that's proportionate to the environment that you're in, okay? Take my masterclass, okay? I'm gonna link it below the video, and in that masterclass, I'm gonna walk you through the process that my students and I have gone through to recalibrate that fight, flight, free system to learn what's driving it underneath, okay? And to ensure that when you're in just like a conversation and you're speaking to people, this thing's not going off and shutting down your hearing. You can process words, you can think on your feet, you can feel, most importantly, connected to the other people. You can experience that fun conversation and feel like you're a part of the group in the conversation, okay? So very, very important. All right, and so if you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe. And here's the, the other video I was talking about that we I go further into all of those physical symptoms that manifest when that fight by freeze system is going off. So you can check that out next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right, see you later.